Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to use custom script extension. So custom script, script extension basically lets you run PowerShell script. Uh, if it's a Windows virtual machine and if uh, a bash script, it says if it's a Linux virtual machine, all right, from your storage account. So without logging inside a virtual machine, right, you can run these PowerShell or bash script depending on, on the operating system. So for example, while creating a Windows virtual machine, I want to install let's say IIS, right? I can write a small PowerShell script like this, right? which will install IIS services on my Windows machine without even I logging inside that VM. Okay? So you can create a file like this and this file needs to be uploaded to your storage account. So I'll quickly create a storage account. So I'll go to the storage account service and I'll say create a storage account. So this will create the storage account. Once the storage account is created, we would need to create a blob container and inside that container, we would need to upload the script. So the storage account is created. Let's go inside the storage account and let's uh, create a container. Go to containers and over here, I'll say container and let's name this container as scripts. Let's create it. Now let's upload the PowerShell script from the desktop. Okay, so this part is done. So we have our script over here. Now let's go to the virtual machines tab. And inside virtual machine, let's create a Windows virtual machine. Name it as WebVM Windows 2016 Server. Okay, and under Advanced tab, I'll click on Select an extension. I'll search for Custom Script Extension. Which is this and now I'll select the file from the blob container this is the file we have uploaded you don't need to pass any argument uh, our script doesn't have any argument but if your script has any argument requires any input then you can pass it arguments as well I'll keep it blank for now and I'll click on create and then I'll click on create virtual machine so ideally what should happen is our VM should be created. This custom script extension should execute the PowerShell script on our Windows VM and the script should install IS web server. Let's wait for this VM to get created. Okay, so the VM is created and ideally it should have run the PowerShell script as well. So let's validate by viewing the web page, but before we can View the web page or browse the web page. Uh, I would need to go to networking and I would need to allow port number 80. So I'll just say HTTP and I'll add this rule. Okay, so the HTTP rule is added and now we should be able to view the web page. Okay, and we can see a web page, right, which shows the default uh, internet information services page. Okay. So this means the script got executed successfully and if it has installed the IIS. Now you can also go to the extensions menu by searching from here extensions and applications and you can see one uh, extension was added successfully. Okay. Now if you want to add 
<laughs> more extensions you can use the default extensions also as well as you can run more scripts as well so if you have more powershell script which needs to be executed later you can add more custom script extensions as well like right? so this is what the this is what this is what custom script extension does lets you run your powershell script on your windows machine and uh, linux script or bash script on uh, linux operating system all right so this is it for this lab thank you for watching